100 was he even told you when he was tripping and he even would have laid down his life and died for you. But 2,000 years later, y'all got a problem with it. Right. Yeah. What have you read? You got a problem with it. Right. We need more stand up brothers like that around. Right. Right, so these Negroes crack me up. Every idle word that you speak, you're going to give account for. Right? Yeah. You know? yeah. he keep, keep talking. Yeah. So then you guys keep talking. Yeah. They might have to answer one day. Like, we hate to go to court down here. You get to take out to court. <laughs> you got a day in court yeah. with the judge. With the judge. Huh? And you're going to have to give an account for that. You're going to be found guilty. Yeah. <laughs> and when he say, those are my enemies, right. they don't want me to we'll bring them over and slam the court. Right out. But we're playing. This, ain't, this is not the lottery. He ain't playing around, around here. This is salvation. Either you all in or you ain't. That's what it, it comes down to. All right, let's finish this off. You ahead, verse 1. Verse 39. He that findeth his life shall lose it, and he that loseth his life for my sake shall find it. There you go. So if you lose your life for the truth, lose your life for your uh, status in this life for Christ, you're going to find life. You're going to get eternal life. But you can't serve both. You can't be fence-strapping. Oh, yeah, I hear what y'all saying. But, you know, hey, I'm out here making it rain. Later for that. But I, just, I just got me a pack, and I'm out here selling crack, so later for that, huh? Now nah, you got to let the world go. You coming to Christ. You got to let all, all of us dumb. It don't mean nothing. There ain't nobody talking about these commandments that want to be the light. It's death coming out of people's minds. Yeah. And that's why Paul... Eloquently stated in Romans chapter 12, verse 1, I beseech ye therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. It's the least you can do. It's the least you can do. Christ presented himself a living sacrifice. You follow him, right? But what you gonna do? So the old reasonable service is to present your body a living sacrifice. In other words, you ten toes down for this, man. Don't be, you know, it's time for an occasion for you to speak and rep for Christ and you hush in the mouth. Oh, no, I don't want to hurt nobody's feelings. Christ hurt a lot of people's feelings. A lot of the Pharisees and them was offended. How you think they were trying to stone them all the time? People's feelings was getting hurt. But you're not aiming to turn down without the aim to build up. Now, he was hitting them with the scripture. Their spirit was good. Now, if they humbled him, was like, well, Lord, you know, I'm bad. I ain't know that. Like nigga like, Demons. Like, 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 like who? Nigga Demons. Demons. <laughs> like nigga Demons. You can't sneak around at night. You're going to show up at night trying to oh, hustle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> All right, let's get this. Mark 16, we got that? Mark 16, yeah. 15 16. We just going over the rock.